Hey, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another model build video. This time I'll be doing the Bandai A-Wing Starfighter. And we have it here with, uh, there's the instruction manual. Um, I purchased some third-party photo etch from Green Strawberry so I can do the uh, cockpit lighting and engine lighting. Um, these are just some flicker LEDs I threw in here that I'm gonna use for the engines. Then of course we have the model here. This is the body of the A-Wing. A lot of body parts. Here's some more body parts, but the brownish red colored parts. Here we have the uh, cockpit interior. And then here we also have the base for the A-Wing, as well as the uh, gun turret, which is pretty cool. So let's take a look at this really quick pull this out here we've got some stickers here which we will not use stickers and this is another great quality build by Bandai very clean I wish it was a little bit bigger it is small but uh, for those of you who saw my model room it fits better I'm running out of space but it's very very highly detailed crisp clean very nice looking build we got the pilot there here we have the engine housings with the fins so it's very nice, high quality, as usual with Bandai. Then we have these parts here. Uh, we've got the brownish red colored parts, which I will be painting. Again, nice, fine, crisp detail. Uh, I probably will use the clear cockpit on this build, kind of have to. And you can just see how nice and clean this is, like always with Bandai. And we got some landing gear stuff that I will not be using. Then here we have the uh, lasers I will not be using. And we have cockpit interior parts here. And you can see all that. And we have our wonderful Flatman figure that always comes with Bandai now. And then we have the base and the gun turret. Uh, the base I'll be using, very nice detail there. And then here we have the gun turret. This will be pretty cool. I should be displaying the A-Wing flying next to this gun turret. It's got a lot of nice fine details in here. You know, we got the tower portions and then we got the guns here. And then here is the photo etch. Um, again, I purchased this from Green Strawberry. Um, I will not be using all the photo etch. Uh, there's a bunch for the landing gear and all, which I will not be doing landing gear. But I will be using these parts here for the cockpit. And those are the two for the controls and these two engine grill areas. Uh, there are a few other pieces around. Um, things I won't use like the ladders, but this I will on the gun turret. Uh, let's see here. I think... There's some other little parts around the outside of the A-Wing I might use, like these here. But uh, mostly just for the cockpit and engine. Then of course it also comes with the uh, acetate here for lighting with the photo etch. Um, we have black light blocking with the clear for the lights to come through and the detail. Then we have these little colored sheets here which go along with that to uh, bring color through and you can see there how the color pops through when I put them together and you just line those up and then glue them behind the photo etch just like I did on my recent video for the uh, snow speeder so we're gonna jump right in here start with the cockpit and this video is gonna cover all the cockpit build so we got our pieces here and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start removing all the cockpit pieces from the sprue. We got top sides here. We have the center console and the seat and this ring that goes around the top. And then I'm just going to go around and uh, trim off some of the excess from when I removed it from the sprues. It looks pretty clean. And these are the side pieces that go on the top. I don't think I'm going to light these. There aren't really areas for lighting. I think I'm just going to paint. 
Plus, the way the kit goes together, I just don't think I'll be able to light it, even with fiber. Because these pieces go on the top here, on the sides. Let me show you how that looks. And they go right on there. But there is this ring portion that goes around the outside, and with that flush against the back, I just don't know where I would run the fibers and there's not a lot of room in this kit but certainly this here the front I need to shave off the front areas like I did on my snow speeder so that I can glue on the uh, photo etch pieces that I have here and here go right here and here so we'll just move on here and we're gonna start I'm just gonna kinda shave off the little raised areas on the front of this front cockpit console area and then after I've shaved off I went ahead and I sanded it down also to try to make it as smooth as possible it doesn't have to be perfect I am going to be making holes in it and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the photo etch here and cut those away these are some very small consoles and this is the placement where they will go on this front portion here and I just need to drill out holes now so I've gone and I've drilled out holes for the top portion you can see the light kind of bounce and come through there and I'm gonna go ahead and continue and drill holes out for the bottom photo etch as well for the light to come through and I've got those bottom holes drilled out as well you can see through there light comes through then I'm going to drill a hole through the top center here for the top area for the LED to come through for the wires in addition to this hole on the top I've also drilled a hole there for the uh, other smaller console portion I've also drilled out a hole in this area here. I don't have any photo etch for that, but I'm going to fill it with some crystal clear and just have that be a light source. And then these sides just go on here. And then what I've done is I've taped off the front portion so that I have an area for it to adhere. I'm going to prime the rest and the uh, photo etch will be able to be glued to the portion that's not painted. So I've gone and I've primed everything here all the pieces I still have the tape on the little front screens there and then I've also primed the uh, photo etch and then painted it with my neutral gray and German gray Tamiya mix and here we have everything painted with my darker shade of gray that I've mixed Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a NATO black wash over this whole front center console and then over the raised areas on the sides here. And you can see on the inside sides of the cockpit there how that has a wash over it. I did spray it with a clear coat. That's why it's a little glossy for the uh, wash to go in. Same with this. There's my wash over the clear coat. So I just need to spray it with a flat coat. Then I also did a bit of a wash over the photo etch pieces as well. You can see the raised areas are highlighted. I also did a wash for the back of the seat. Then I just need to paint this little area and the hoses here. And this hose that is on the side of the seat. Gone and I've also added a little bit of color to the inside of the cockpit there. Some colors. Um, and a little bit of some dry brushing with some silver and light gray just to pick up some more detail and make it look like there's some stuff going on there. Then I've also painted the back wall of the seat uh, with some sky gray for the hoses and some silver on the other portions. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull my uh, 0402 SMD LED down through the top center to light the upper portion of the screens 
And then I have one here that goes in the lower portion to light up the lower screens. I'm going to turn this around a little bit to face the front more. And here's a test of how those light up. And just a little dry fit of the uh, console over the LEDs here. And there you can see the light shining through all the drilled out holes, no problem. Now I'm going to take some micro crystal clear. I'm going to use this as my glue, basically. And I'm going to put it behind the LEDs and pull the wires back through. And that'll just kind of glue it into place once the micro crystal clear is hardened. And there it's hardened on both of those. And because it's clear, if any got on the LEDs themselves, it won't affect the brightness at all. And for this center portion right here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take some of my micro crystal clear on the tip of a toothpick and I'm just going to fill in that hole with micro crystal clear and let that dry. And that will create essentially like a, a screen. And here the micro crystal clear has dried. And you can't even tell there's anything in there, but there is a coating of that. And I'm just going to put an LED on the bottom here. I'm going to take another 0402 and just slide it in and glue it into place. If I can get it in there. Just glue this right into place back here and that'll shine a light through that crystal clear. And I'm going to take some Tamiya clear yellow and I'm just going to put a couple drops of clear yellow over that crystal clear. And then when I kick the light on, you can see it just makes a nice yellow screen glow. So on the front, this little portion here is actually a screen, a monitor. Um, I don't have photo etch for that, but there are some screens here, um, graphics that Green Strawberry made that can go there. There's even the little uh, acetate portion to go there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drill out this whole area and cut it out so that I can light that up with the screen graphic. And I've gone and I've drilled it out and then used a blade and just kind of cut it out as much as possible. And then when we take the whole center and put it on you can see the light shining through in that upper portion to light the screen graphic. So at this point I'm ready to start cutting all these graphics out so that I can put them behind the photo etch. So I'm going to start out here and just cut out the acetate pieces first. And then I'm going to cut out the little screen graphic that goes behind it. And then I've glued them together with some micro crystal clear and you can kind of see light coming through. If I put an LED behind it, you can see the color and light coming through those graphics there. Same thing with this little screen. I put a drop of micro crystal clear. I'm going to put the acetate over the top. That way if the crystal clear, when it spreads, if it blocks any of the graphics, it's clear and it's not going to disrupt the light flow. And another little LED here, you can see the light shining through those graphics there. So I've also done the graphic for this little monitor. And then I've glued the graphics to the back of the photo etch, again with micro crystal clear. And I've also painted the inside of this whole console area with some white paint to make sure the light gets bounced around really well and make it as bright as possible. I've also, after a test, decided to add a second light up above because one was not enough. And now, with the photo etch glued in place on the top and I turn the lights on, all the lights shine nice and bright. I've also glued the lower photo etch piece here in place and when you turn that on you can see the graphics shining through nice and clean. And then I'm going to take this little screen graphic and you can see the size of this sucker. It's extremely small. It's a targeting screen. I've glued that in place again with crystal clear and you can see the light shining through that as well. Now there is a bit of light leak underneath this portion as you can see. There's actually 
quite a bit there's a big gap there and that's just the way the model is so what I've done is I've filled that in with some putty but there's still this area underneath here and if you look at it from the bottom it's where this attaches to this piece of the body right here so that should block the light um, but other than that this is all coming together really nice I'm happy with the way the cockpits turning out so far so I filled in a portion of this with some Tamiya plastic putty this is the only portion that needs to attach to the main body and then I painted it with some German gray to block the light and if I turn the light on you'll see everything is blocked except that little bit there right here and that will be filled in when it attaches to the body so now there's these two little photo etch pieces which are actually um, flight control handles and I've cut those out and if you can see there's a little indent on both of these right here these need to be folded in half for the handles and I've gone and I have folded those in half and it makes them a little bit thicker and those are the handles for the pilot and then I've gone primed them then I painted them with German gray and some flat black on the actual handle portions themselves and then I've gone and I've glued them in place on either side of the lower photo etch console portion you can see that one there you can see both of them and then I have my seat time to put that into the cockpit now and that will just push right into place here nice and snug and here's another little light test with the seat looking really good now I have this portion that goes around the outside of the cockpit um, this covers the rest of the interior and it's also partly exterior where the canopy attaches and I need to paint the inside of this and the outside of this as well so I've gone and I've painted the inside with um, Tamiya German Grey and done some black in those indented areas up towards the front you can see on this one you can see the little cleaner on that side still a little wet which is why it's glossy and now I need to paint the rest of the outside but if you look at these studio model photos you'll see the edges around the canopy how it's all chipped and worn and scraped up so I'm going to use my Viejo liquid mask and I'm going to take that on a sponge and just go around and sponge spot the uh, liquid mask around the outer edge and you can see it's all dried up now around the front and edges of this portion here then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to airbrush it with the Tamiya German Grey then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scrape away the uh, liquid mask to make it look like it's all chipped up and reveal the uh, gray primer underneath then I'm going to go ahead and take this portion here and I'm gonna push it into place on the cockpit and get that locked down and there we have the whole cockpit assembled and painted and one last light test with it fully assembled and painted and it looks great I'm really happy with how this is turning out very pleased um, the photo etch works wonders for doing cockpits but that's gonna cover it for this video I am gonna be out of town this following week for some personal matters so it'll probably be a couple of weeks before I'm able to do an update this time but uh, there will be some updates coming soon I hope you will tune in for the next episode and we'll start working on the body and figuring out lighting the engines so, thanks for watching. Hey, if you like watching my videos, please feel free to give them a like. And so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, click subscribe.